Hi friends, Andrea here with a new process video for you and today I'm going to show you how I made this interactive frame. I posted a picture a few days ago and I had a few questions and I had a few people asking if there was a process video for it and I happen to have two additional uh, pages of the um, pattern paper that I used to make the original one. So I'm going to show you today how I made it. So after, after making this one, I realized that you could easily use a piece of cardstock and then just one piece of pattern paper if you want to do the, um, for the layering, but it was too late <laughs> by the time I realized that so we're going to work with two of those pages today and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. We're going to start with cutting one of the pieces of patterned paper in half just so we can have the whole word um, the same. So that line you're going to cut at 6 inches. Now on the second part to start doing the folding, we are not going to do it at 6 inches. We need to check first where the letters end because they do not match exactly. So don't go with the six inches, just try to score it in halfway between one letter and the other. And then we're gonna figure out and how many inches we need to cut from the ends to make it match and make it even. So once that's done and before we tape them together, because I want to use this as a frame, we are going to cut or fussy cut the inside of the O. So one th another thing <laughs> to keep in mind is there is a lot of fussy cutting here, especially because I'm doing not just this um, not just the frame, but I want to do I'm doing the layers. So there is the fussy cutting here and then there will be the fussy cutting for each one of the um, letters and the details and flowers if we want to use those. So if you are a fan of fussy cutting like I am, this is going to end up being really, really relaxing. If you are not, all I can tell you is that it is worth the time and the effort. So just give it a try if you do have the paper because and it will look nice in the end. So now we're going to uh, tape together this two pieces to have the accordion shape the mini book itself. make sure you that everything <laughs> that everything is even and that matches okay so at this point we're technically halfway through the main the base the, the main structure is ready so I'm coming with my sewing machine and some silver thread to do a to have a border just to add a little bit of texture to the to the project okay so I printed my picture it's a six by four photo and I'm making sure that it fits that you know our faces are not too big or that we all fit in there so here are, there are two options so for the first one if we're gonna do it exactly like we did the 
first dough we're gonna go and fussy cut the inside of it and then we're gonna do also the outside so we get a separate frame and for the rest of the letters you could do the same you could fussy cut the outlines of the flowers and the leaves and everything and half the full letter come up and I'll we'll talk about it in a minute when when we get there but for now we now got a second frame and we're gonna use some adhesive foam tape and we align it looks good we're done and we get that second layer that I I really like now what I'm showing you here is that on for the picture to I did not glue or taped the picture straight on the paper I also added a second layer of foam will that make a really big change that that's mainly up to you you can try doing it without and then checking if if it does make a difference for you I did I did it on the first one and I did like the fact that I get to see three layers in the end and here's what I'm talking about I am fussy cutting from each one of the other letters I'm fussy cutting just the flowers and few of the leaves here and there to add that second layer you could one option is to do the entire letter and then you get and you get a second layer of the full letter and to be honest by the time I thought of this I was already done with the flowers on the letter L so I cannot tell you exactly if you know how it looks but I did this I did it this way just fussy cutting the flowers on the first one I did like it and I just I wasn't <laughs> I was an idle pilot um, when doing this one so didn't think of it of you know making it in a different way just, just letting you know that there is there is that option as well and now if you, you if you end up using cardstock for your base you will have to fussy cut the whole letter to get that effect a few more flowers I think this one is the second to last this one is the last flower okay we're getting there as I said there's a lot of fussy cutting and we're almost on I promise there are only a couple of things <laughs> after this all right so we got that now on the Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do the back. So you could leave it as it is. I am gonna go ahead and use another piece of pattern paper and also make a pocket. So I'm gonna use two pe two separate pieces of pattern pattern paper to cover that wide back. Now, because you want because I wanted to make it a close and have it as a mini book, it doesn't really matter if you cover that back side and also keep in mind if you're going to use any ribbons to close your mini book try to work on the ribbon before you tape the back cover because you'll see what is going to happen in a minute so here just add in a double sided tape, thin double sided tape to the borders and I go back and add the third yes, <laughs> that third edge that we that I forgot alright so I have now my back side and oh, seems like I still don't realize that I did not work on the ribbon so the last two pieces um, that we're going to fussy cut are two butterflies and these are gonna go in the back so here's what happens I'm not going to decorate or cover what's on those two um, on those two pieces or on that back side because I'm gonna add two super tiny 
uh, magnets and that's what's going to help me to keep it close and to keep it as a book so but when i open it it opens as a book and i just use the magnets to make sure that it doesn't go all crazy when i use the ribbon to close it you don't have to do the butterflies you can do a circle you can do just on the other one it, you'll see that i just use leftover piece of um, the original pattern paper okay and <laughs> i finally realized that i didn't put the piece of ribbon on the back side and that's one thing that i've learned about myself and it's the fact that i tend to forget to do that <laughs> so when I work with like making mini albums and those things I've learned to yes I do love super sticky double-sided tape but then I would not be able to fix mistakes like this so I like the idea of working with tape or glue that it's sticky enough to keep my projects safe but will also allow me to fix this kind of <laughs> mistakes. Okay, I'm choosing the papers I'm going to use. I will not end up using that third piece. Just add in the ribbon, make sure you don't forget. And the texture now with the, I'm using the same silver thread on every single piece of paper that I've been machine stitching for this project. Okay, so the first one I'm using regular double-sided tape. We align it. I like to leave a, a small border so that's what you see there and then for the second piece I did add a piece of foam and now I'm coming with the Nuba drops and just adding few details to the flowers I am also bringing the glossy accent for some of the other details it's my way to keep adding more texture without making it look like too much. I do struggle with that. I do struggle with when is a good time to stop? When should I stop adding um, embellishments when I work with those or stickers and die cuts and that kind of stuff. So this one thing that I said before I started this one, it, this project was let's keep it as simple as possible, but here we go. I just you know, need to keep adding a little bit um, whenever I feel that it's that it would look good. And on the original project, this few last few details, I did kind of the same thing, but using white nouveau drops. And here I found the enamel dots that match the um, the flowers and the papers. So I decided to go with those and just a couple of butterflies. So here you have this is the final result. The main difference between them, um, so of course the cover is different, few of the details with the Nubo drops and the, the final texture. And on the original one, I did use the double-sided double -sided pattern paper. On this one, I used the ones that come in the 12 by 12 paper bag. Okay, so here you have it stands. So if you are gonna display it that way and you don't wanna decorate the back of it, just make sure that you have it against the wall. If you're gonna have it, if there is not gonna be a wall, just make sure that you do decorate or that at least cover that the details on the back. Okay, so here it is. It's exactly the same. I'm showing you how I covered the magnets on the first one. And well, that my friends, it's it. I hope you enjoy it. It is really, really simple. You just have to be a little bit patient when it comes to the fussy cutting part. But as I said, if you enjoy fussy cutting, you're gonna have 
a wonderful time. If you do not, I will say at least try it because in the end it is it is worth it. It looks really cute and it would be it will make a great gift. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you had a good time and please let me know if you make it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.